we wanted this sort of a very unsentimental kind of look at the time, a very hard, uh, dirty, sort of gritty film. When you do a, a period piece, you have to look at every single thing. If there's one single thing that stands out, it even just captures your eye for a second, the whole, the whole truthfulness of the scene just goes out and it doesn't work. Because nothing exists anymore, you end up sort of building a lot of stuff and recreating the past. So we have to be sort of innovative in a lot of ways and I think we've got a lot on screen. If you're to do it properly, you should be shooting in the actual location, which in this case is a very, very remote region right in the centre of Australia. We found a place um, just outside of Mount Magnet, which is where we built the, the camel station, um, which was um, a place called the Granite. It became a huge logistical exercise where the hero location had to be built in situ and then rebuilt back in the city um, for interiors. We started building the camel station um, down in Perth and um, when Clay suggested that we actually make it out of foam, I was um, more than a little bit worried about that. And I saw these foam walls going up and I'm thinking, this isn't looking very good. But he convinced me, he said, no, no, just stick with it. But by the time it's all painted up, it'll be convincing. So um, he put it all up on a truck and they drove it all up there. And I'm thinking, um, what are we gonna do? And we've spent all this money sending trucks up there with, with foam camel stations on their backs. By the time I got up there, it was nearly all finished and I have to say, it just looked amazing. I, I um, take my hat up to him. I didn't believe it was quite possible. So that's awesome, isn't it? Looks real to me. Yeah. When you're shooting um, historical period drama like we did, you only have a very, very narrow field of vision that actually suits the numbers of angles which you need cameras to go in means that you, you, you need that 360 degrees um, choice uh, f for um, recreating that, that particular period. And you just can't do it in Perth. So we went to York and one of the things we were trying to do, if we couldn't get 360 degrees, that, we, that maybe we could at least get 180 degrees. We're here filming York today. Um, Rowan chose this location because of the intersection here it looks kind of old worldly perfish. It's kind of the most best we can get anywhere in WA at the moment. Uh, what we've had to do is lock down you know, two sides of the street and have a stop and go with, with council approval obviously. Uh, we've moved in lots of old cars, have permission to take away stop signs etc and um, yeah it's going to be a pretty busy day I think today. What we did in York which I thought was was quite clever under the low budget circumstances was that instead of opening up the streetscape we shot the outside only ever from inside so that the walls and the windows provided the limitations that we needed in order to populate the backgrounds with cars and people. Actually capturing that sense of time and place, um, when people spoke differently, when people walked differently, when people carried themselves differently, it wasn't easy at all. And I remember the, the costume designer, Sarah, saying, you just wait till they put on those big pants and they suddenly realise that this is how they walked in the 1920s. And so Luke put on the big pants and put on the braces <laughs> and uh, all of a sudden he started to seem like a man from the 1920s. Luke Ford has been busting out of his pants quite substantially. Every single pair of pants we've pretty much put on him from the brown to the green to the blue. They've all split, uh, sometimes around the back end, usually around the front area. Right here is a fabulous indication of our handiwork, trying to patch it back up again on the set. We don't get on very well. No, we don't. We don't. It's a love-hate relationship. She loves me. I hate her. Yeah. 